give them action. Like, what are they going to do? They're not just going to be walking through the set like this, right? You've got to give them something to do. They're, they're performing. They're background performers. So when it comes to choreography, I often, in that room when I'm giving my welcome speech, I'll probably already know this because I've signed them in and I know who are the, who are the SAG actors, who are the union. If you're a union extra, you, you clearly have experience. You've been on a set many times. So I'll often send my experienced background performers to the prop truck first or to the costume truck first so that my costumer can give them her best bits to put on because she knows that when I take them to set, I'm going to put these experienced extras in front of the camera and I'm going to put my less experienced background performers farther back down the street. Yeah, And then I do things like zone setting. So zone setting is this. I've got I've got Teresa, and I've got Frankie, and I've got Philip, and I've got Anthony, and I've got a street, right? And I've got a hundred extras. Well, I, Kenny Chaplin, I don't have time to set all of these extras. And so, so, so the way it works is we do the blocking, right? And then everybody, goes, the cast goes away, and now we're going to light the set. Well, so during the lighting, I, I can't take all my background performers and start placing them so that I can, because the DP has to light. She